Hello, welcome back to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel. It's time to plan for the week. So I'm going, I can actually get a lot of questions about what binder I am using for my planner and I will link it for you in the description. I, I bought it off of Etsy and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so since we were off all last week, I just have to go back and make sure I have a bearing on where we left off. So I'm checking last week's plans and where we left off in Right Start Math, which is in case anyone is curious, um, Everett has said that math is now the subject that he looks forward to during the day the most. So that's a win. All right, I'm just going to mark down some of our lessons that I didn't mark in last week, what we covered for writing and rhetoric. Okay, let's set up this week. This is Everett's week. He is going into seventh grade. So our subjects are Bible, math, reading, writing, science, history, and then I leave a column for any activities each day. Okay, so Bible's easy. We just are doing How to Study Your Bible by Kay Arthur together as a family subject for my two oldest boys. And then I just leave the lesson uh, blank usually for Rate Start Math so I can just fill in which lessons we actually cover because sometimes we do more than one in one day. And now I'm just checking where we left off on his reading. This is for his easy peasy reader. He's reading three days worth of reading each reading period for um, our homeschool. And then he does uh, the questions that come with that in his notebook. And I'm just writing down vocab. We're into the Worldly Wise, book seven. And he does that in the same notebook that he does his easy peasy questions in. Um, so the first half of the book he's using for his reading um, questions and the second half for his vocabulary work. And I'm just giving him a little tab so he can flip to his vocab section more easily. And I just was, had to look over what he did or didn't do from last week, so I remembered. And then writing a rhetoric, I just leave the lessons blank because I never really know how far we're going to get because we just do it for an hour. So we, he gets as far as he gets. And then the good and the beautiful, I'm going to write down what lessons we should be covering this week. We do this as a family subject again with my oldest two so far. And um, just three days a week. So it looks like we are getting into the new world. We are talking about pre-Columbian America, the Aztec civilization, and the Incan Empire. We do enjoy the good and the beautiful history courses. And I'm just going to give myself some check boxes. Okay, on to William. Um, he is just starting his third grade year. Okay, yeah, again, I'm just catching up on last week's. I guess that's actually technically two weeks ago, but the last week that we did in school. And we're setting up for this week. So again, same subjects. I set everything up the same way. We're not doing, you see a science column? We're not doing science right now because we're in it. We're doing history. We switch back and forth. So he also is doing right start math, just a different level, obviously, than his brother. So I was just checking to see where we left off with that. And I'm just putting in the blanks so I can fill those in what we get through. Again, he also sometimes does more than one lesson a day. And then for reading, he's still reading his McGuffey, the second reader. So I'm leaving the lesson blank and I'll just fill it in as we do them. And then I have got comprehension question and a f I am penciling in free read. That's kind of something new. I haven't put that in for a while because I am having to have my younger, uh, my William here do free reading while I do math with his older brother. And then we kind of switch. Then I do the math lessons with William. That's when Everett does his reading time. And again, um, 
I can just fill in the same history stuff because I've already looked it up. And then he does copy work and grammar. We're gonna be using those for grammar right now, the sentence scaffolds that I showed in my last video. And then we're just continuing on with our regular McGuffey spelling program. And he is planned for onto my kindergartner. So I do his planning a little bit differently um, because I do those copy books. And so I just document in his copy books, which I'll show you here in a second, everything that we do. So I don't feel the need to double write it. <laughs> But I do keep track of his attendance in here with a monthly calendar. And then at, at, when I'm done with the end of a month, I just tally up, you know, how many days he um, did school that month. So I'm just setting up a new month for him for July. always mark out the days that we don't do school we don't do school on Saturdays and since we took all last week off I'm just noting that here and we'll be starting back on Monday the 10th okay that's all I have to do for him in here I'm just checking in his um, copy workbook um, to see where we left off I know that I'm going to want to probably go back and review our last reading lesson. That's why I'm, I'm going back to see what reading lesson we did last because I always document it in this. Um, just I'm just going to write it down for myself. So I've, I've already looked that up so I know where to start on Monday. And we're just going to go back to lesson 17 and 100 easy le lessons and just review that one again. At some point, I do plan on switching back over into Alpha Phonics, but we are still doing 100 easy lessons for right now. And then I'm just I'm just showing you. I um, printed out some flashcards that go along with each of my um, our first copy books for his kindergarten curriculum that match up with the Alpha Phonics lessons. So we're gonna be using those that starting this week as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And we are planned for the week. Happy homeschooling.